Yo guys, what is up? Max in our Cyberpunk build video, and today we're going over my one-shot pistol build. Now, the goal of this build when I started making it was to be able to pull a pistol out in a room full of enemies and one-shot the entire room of enemies and then move on. I wanted it to be very high damage, I wanted it to be very efficient, and I only play on the very hardest difficulty, very hard, uh, so I wanted it to be able to do that content. And what I came up with after like eight hours of testing around with different pistols and stuff is this build. Uh, right now showing on screen is a clip of me going against a Cyber Psycho, one of the harder enemies in the game, with this build on very hard difficulty. Wow, that was unfair. Okay. Uh, we just melt. We do so much damage. Uh, you can clear out entire rooms of enemies with a single shot from your pistol. Um, there's some interesting mechanics going on here, and I can't wait to break down everything you guys need to know about the build. Let's get right into it. To get into the specifics of the build, I want to give you guys just a quick demonstration of why this build is so busted. So to start, we're going to go into our optical camo. Um, I'm not actually going to shoot anyone in this. I just want to show you how ridiculous our cooldowns are. So our optical camo is being used up. It is now on cooldown. I'm going to activate my Sandavistan um, and then just start headshotting things. Um, and the reason for this is to give us a ton of cooldown uh, with our... Uh, invisibility. So we just killed basically everything that was here. Uh, as you can see, I instantly have my Sand Devastin back. Um, so I, I have this cooldown. I can just immediately go back into our Sand Devastin. And as you can see, I may be like two or three seconds away from having our optical camo back. After killing all those enemies, we just go right back into optical camo and then kill everything and uh, yeah, our cooldowns on our cyberware are ridiculous, and we're going to be spending a lot of our time completely invisible from enemies. Now, why is this so important? We are using the Her Majesty pistol with this build. Now, this is one of two must-have pistols uh, for this build. Uh, this one you get from the DLC. Everyone can get it. Doesn't matter your story choices. The other pistol is really, really good for this build, but I'm going to be talking about it towards the end of the video because it does have some spoilers, uh, and you do have to make some certain choices during your DLC to actually acquire it. But Her Majesty, everyone can get in the DLC, and I'll also talk about like non-DLC options. But this pistol reads, while optical camo is active, this weapon shots gain perfect accuracy and guaranteed headshot crits along with increased damage. As if that weren't enough, it comes with a unique silencer. Now we're going to get a 150% increased damage with this thing while stealth on top of the headshot damage multiplier, the increased crit damage, and then when we're in optical camo, we get guaranteed headshot crits and another damage multiplier while we're in optical camo, which is ridiculous. Um, and then we also can pair that with cool, which is 25% damage multiplier with our silenced pistols outside of combat. Um, and then... What's really crazy about this is our cooldowns. We're allowed to be able to stay in optical camo basically all of the time, close to 100% of the time. And then we've got a basically 100% uptime on our Sand Devastin. Now, how does this work? How does this happen? Now, there's a few things that you must have for this build, and we're gonna go do a little overview right now. So to start us off, optical camo is an obvious one. Uh, this is gonna be what we're activating. It's gonna give us our invisibility, our bonus stealth multipliers, uh, and our damage with our pistol. The other must have piece is the axolotl. This cyberware gives us cooldown instantly after we kill an enemy. We're getting 10% cooldown every time we kill an enemy, which is obviously pretty crazy. Now, the cooldown for our optical camo is 50 seconds, which is a lot of time. Um, and so the goal of this build was to make that basically only a few seconds of cooldown, which we've achieved, one, with the axolotl, um, two, with actually our skill progression trees that they added. The top rank of headhunter gives us plus 15% optical camo charge when neutralizing an enemy in one of the following ways while undetected during focus mode during uh, dead eye mode and with a thrown weapon we are going to be in focus dead eye mode and undetected like 99% of the time which allows us to constantly give us back optical camo charge on top of that if you're actually in optical camo when you activate this, like when you're killing enemies, you'll actually increase your duration of optical camo. The optical camo charge will refill your charge of optical camo while you're actually in it, meaning that you can go through an entire building, basically stealth, as long as you have enemies to kill, which is ridiculous. On top of that, we're also using Cyborg, which gives us 15% reduced cooldown 
for all cyberware if all available cyberware slots are filled, which we are doing. And we've also got extended warranty for even more duration with all of our cyberware effects. When you pull all of this together, you've got a pretty busted pistol build that can stealth kill an entire room very quickly. The other two pistols that I really like with this build are the Pariah and the Lakai. Um, the Pariah is the second best in slot pistol for this build, in my opinion, because it is a silenced pistol with headshot damage multiplier, armor penetration, and it fires three bullets at once when you pull the trigger. So even though this says like 31 damage, it's actually 90 damage, uh, which is pretty gross. And on top of that, it is a tech pistol. Now, this thing being a tech pistol is important because we can actually take advantage of the chain lightning skill. Uh, the chain lightning allows us to do AOE damage and we can make the bolts penetrate armor. Uh, we can improve our like charge time and the like functionality of these tech pistols. And while the Her Majesty is fantastic at just popping heads uh, and deleting everything, the Pariah gives us added AOE stealth damage because it fires those like AOE chain bolts. Um, and then things when things get loud, I like pulling out the Lakai, uh, which has headshot damage multiplier, armor pen, and also burn chance. And then when you enemies are burning, we get like increased crit damage uh this thing is really really great for going loud and at the end of the video i'll tell you how to get all of these pistols now for a deep dive into our skill tree if you're leveling with this build you're going to want to spec your points into cool first get this to 20 and then your technical ability to 20 and then reflexes to 20 don't really need body or intelligence for this build so cool is where all of the handgun perks are located now um you may notice a little bit of a disparity between the like video show footage that just showed uh the only reason that is the pariah has to do with a certain story ending and so i only have the pariah on one of my saves uh, where i did a certain story ending and then i've got this save which is on a different story ending uh so that's the reason why like the her majesty was like a blue there and and like a legendary here um but the most important points to get for this build are all in the cool tree uh this is where we're going to get focus which allows us to not have any stamina cost for shooting which is really important because that's going to help us keep Deadeye up all the time. Now, Deadeye gives us more headshot damage and more weak spot damage and no bullet spread as long as we maintain above 85% stamina. So investing into things that give us stamina back are actually going to increase our damage because Deadeye will stay active more often. So California Reaper is going to give us stamina back after we kill an enemy with rain shot. Uh, this is going to give us a ton of stamina back. And then while Deadeye is active, we can also get things that like we don't lose damage over distance, which is freaking fantastic uh quick draw for more weapon swap speed stamina high noon is going to give us reload speed and then nerves of tungsten seal give us guaranteed critical hits while dead eye is active for headshots and weak spots and another damage multiplier as distance increases and then run and gun allows us to hip fire our pistols which is very fun and also we get more movement speed while focus is active which is basically all the time now the other things that i'm grabbing here are stealth damage multipliers such as killer instinct for more damage with our like silenced pistols then gag order allows us to avoid detection quick getaway gives us more movement speed um these points aren't super necessary but i just want to show you how cool they are um ninjutsu allows us to get more crouch movement speed more mitigation chance which is more stealth and we can grab creeping death this reads when optical camo is active or uh, you are undetected neutralizing an enemy gets us 15 percent health stamina and movement speed so if you're in the middle of the combat and things start shooting at you, uh, if you have the Relic skill tree, uh, Emergency Cloaking, you activate Emergency Cloaking. Now, all of a sudden, you are stealth. Your undetected enemies will lose you. And then while you're stealth, you just pop a few enemies. Um, and every single kill that you get while in Optical Camo will heal you for 15% of your health, which is ridiculous. Um, this is massive for like playing on the hardest difficulty. And we've also got the Tech tree. Uh, which is going to give us improved healing and recharge rate and an additional health item, which is really nice. And then in the actual uh, technical tree, we can increase our cyberware capacity, our cooldowns, our durations. Um, and then if you want to use more of the uh, tech pistols, which I like either per the Pariah uh, or if I'm like going loud, I will... Um just use like the Lakai or one of the other tech pistols. Uh, note that I'm not max level, so I do plan on like filling all of these out eventually uh, and getting all of the things with Chain Lightning. I uh, just on this specific save, I, I don't have the Pariah, so I'm not as important to invest into these tech pistols because this thing is really the most important thing for me right now. 
And then lastly, for cyberware, I have all of my slots filled, which allows me to get that 15% cooldown in our technical tree. Uh, the most important cyberware slots are the Axolotl, your Sandeviston. Uh, the uh, Apogee Sandeviston is the best in slot. However, while you're leveling, any Sandeviston will do. And then getting optical camos, really important. And also the Synaptic Accelerator, that when you're about to be detected, you get a slowdown time so that you can kill that enemy and stay remain undetected are all really great. Now, the bonus like add-on things that I've got are the Kresnikov boost system, improves our Kresnikov ability, Mechatronic core for more damage against robots because we can't headshot them, arm slot doesn't really matter, I've just got blades here just to fill the slot, then here we've got more armor, we've got more mitigation chance, uh, more carrying capacity, once I get more like cyberware thing, I'm going to spec even more into mitigation chance and mitigation strength, which will increase our stealth and reduce the damage that we take. Uh, then we've got Kresnikov, you just dash and you'll slow down time, which is amazing. You can nail those headshots even easier. Visual Cortex support for more crit chance the further away we are. Uh, and the big thing to pick up here is gear that has Cool Attuned. Uh, cool Attuned is going to give us 4% more headshot and weak spot damage per piece of gear. Uh, so we're stacking up quite a bit of actual like headshot damage, which is awesome. So we're going to see a lot of the extra damage coming from. We've got more uh, in reduced incoming damage from close enemies, more armor, uh, optical camo, or Sandeviston. I'm using the basic Kuroshi optics for reduced camera detection speed and also the cool attuned for more headshot and weak spot damage. Ballistic coprocessor for increased ricochet chance with power weapons. Um, note that our Majesty is actually a power pistol, which is pretty cool. Um, so that works out there. And then just health back on kill. Uh, blood pump is really nice for more healing. And then this is just like, I need to upgrade this, but just random in slot. Uh, whenever my health drops, I get more some more movement speed. And then the Lynx paws are the um, legs I'm wearing. You can use these or the double jump. These have got cool attuned for more headshot damage, more quieter movement speed, and more crouched movement speed, which is just nice to have. For the Her Majesty pistol, this is a main story quest. Uh, you're going to be tasked with like equipping this diving gear um, and you have to go pick up this diving gear, which is going to help you get through this quest. And right next to the diving gear, there's going to be a small weapon case on the table with the Her Majesty on it. The Leica pistol, Leica pistol uh, can be looted from airdrops in Dogtown. And the Pariah pistol can be acquired by spoilers. Uh, this is spoilers for how to acquire this. If you do not want to know the spoilers for how to acquire this weapon, uh, this video is pretty much over. Uh, I just have a little outro to do. But for those of you that want to know how to acquire the Pariah Pistol, uh, you do need to, spoilers, kill Solomon Reed at the end of the game. Uh, either by not siding against him, drawing your weapon at the end of the game, you just need to kill him, uh, make sure that you shoot him, and then he will drop the Pariah Pistol on the ground is the only way to acquire this, uh, which means you are siding with Songbird in your story. Guys, that is going to do it for the build video. I hope you enjoyed. We're a little bit out of time, so I'm just going to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this build, uh, make sure to drop a like, comment, and hey, maybe even subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.